So this lesson is about ceramics and composite materials. So composite materials are made from two or more different types of material. So you're combining two or more different types of material. An example would be MDF, which is made from wood fibres and glue. Fiberglass is another example, which is made from a mesh of glass fibres set in a tough polymer. So the materials for a composite material are chosen because they have different properties that combine to make a more useful material. So an example of a composite would be concrete. So steel reinforced concrete is a composite material and it's made by pouring concrete around a mesh of steel cables and then when the concrete sets the material is strong when you stretch it because of the steel but strong when squashed because of the concrete. So reinforced concrete is used in a lot of modern iconic buildings because of these properties. So waterproof clothing um, is made by a material called nylon, which has some desirable properties. It's tough, it's lightweight and it's waterproof. But what it doesn't do is let water vapour pass through it. So that means that although it stops the rain from getting in, it does actually trap the sweat inside. So after a while, inside of the clothes become full of sweat. So you need some breathable fabrics, which are composite materials. So they have the desirable properties of nylon, but are breathable at the same time. So they stop raindrops getting in, but they let water vapour from sweat pass out. Um, this is very useful for people playing sports or for hikers or people that work outside. So there's quite a few layers in breathable fabric. Each one does a different job. So nylon or polyester is used as the tough outer layer on the outside because it's strong. The inner layer is made from polyurethane fibres. Um, because these are soft and elastic. And then the membrane at the centre is made of PTFE, which is a polymer used to coat the surface of non-stick pans. Um, and it contains millions of, or billions of tiny holes, which are too small to let water droplets pass through, but big enough to let water molecules from sweat out. So it doesn't let the rain in, but it does let the sweat out. Okay, now moving on to ceramics. These are solids which are made by baking a starting material in a very hot oven or kiln. They're hard and tough and they have many different uses. So um, bathroom sinks, toilets are made of ceramic with a tough glaze and they are hard, tough and waterproof. So ceramics are often used to make wall tiles, baths, sinks and toilets because of the fact they're hard and tough and waterproof. Okay, bricks. Bricks are actually also a type of ceramic made by baking moulded clay. Bricks are strong and durable, which make them ideal for building houses. The advantages of bricks are they are hard, so they're not easily um, scratched. And they are strong under compression, so a house will not be crushed under its own weight. It's a very solid material that will keep up for a long time. However, the disadvantages are the bricks are brittle, so the bricks can break if they're handled carelessly during construction. So they can have, um, they can fracture quite easily. Okay, moving on to pottery. So pottery is quite an ancient technique. Pottery is made by moulding clay into the desired shape and then baking it in a kiln. And the high temperature of the kiln gets rid of the water and causes chemical reactions that make the clay stronger and harder. Um, then the pottery afterwards, after it's cooled, is usually decorated with a, a tough coloured glaze or gloss so it looks prettier and also just to kind of keep it protected for longer. The... Advantages are that they 
pottery is hard and strong, but the disadvantages are they're very brittle. So pottery plates tend to break if you drop them on the floor. Um, yeah, so pottery is brittle and can be damaged. And that is the end of this topic.